Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Charles with the next installment of Charles Snyder Raw. It's unscripted, unedited, well, mostly unedited, and pretty much unfiltered. Thoughts of business, marketing, life, all that fun stuff. Yesterday, well, today, like I said, it's it's Wednesday. It's hump day. Woo! Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Yesterday was a great day for, uh, you know, Tuesdays are training days for me. And I talked about uh, yesterday morning Toastmasters. That, um, you know, even though I was only in Toastmasters for, you know, not quite two years, and there's a lot more to Toastmasters than just showing up and talking about stuff. There's, you know, there's, I'm not going to get into the whole, uh, you know, the minutia of it, but if you were interested in becoming better at public speaking and all that stuff, Toastmasters is great for that. If you want to, um, you know, there's, there's also a certain amount of like leadership uh, training that comes along with that. And it helps with sales as well as public speaking, because all that stuff, communication is what it's all about. Communication, being able to communicate to speak to a group you need to be able to communicate to be a leader you need to be able to communicate to be a marketer salesman a business owner you need to be able to communicate as a business owner you need to communicate to a lot of different people a lot of different times you have to be able to communicate with your partners your suppliers your customers your employees. There's a lot of different types of communication that need to go on there. There's a lot of different forms of communication. You got your website, your social media, uh, you know, brochures, business cards, uh, logos. There's all kinds of different types of communications. Toastmasters helps you with the spoken part of it anyway. <laughs> when you're talking to your business partners, your employees, or your customers, et cetera, it helps out with that. So if you're interested, it's called Toastmasters International. Very good program. I enjoyed it. Um, in fact, I'm, I've been seriously thinking about getting back into it um, because it's, it's good practice. Even though I practice it a little bit with what I'm doing, especially with these videos. And I've been using that over the course of, you know, like about 15 years now. I didn't just get to this point overnight. It took practice and, you know, it really helps because one of the things that you need to practice or learn and develop is impromptu speaking. Then they, you know, they also do stuff for, you know, like funny speeches, telling a story. Does any of this stuff sound like it might be relevant to making videos for your customers? Or uh, not for your customers, but for your company. Like an intro video for your company. More specifically, how about an intro video to you as the business owner or the faces of your business? Do you think it might help with that? I'm telling you it does. Because I've used it, even though I've written, you know, like my Y videos, I've cranked out two of them now. I haven't quite, quite gotten them uh, up on a website, but they're out there on the social media, and they're actually out there. I'm, I'm actually using them as part of the branding process of building awareness of my business of my business. But this thing is, is speaking to a group, the practice, looking at the uh, the camera or the audience, as the case may be, and memorizing your lines and, you know, adding a tone and inflection, body language, facial expressions is all part of what you, you start to learn in Toastmasters. So I, yeah, I mean, I highly recommend Toastmasters. It was a great time. I had fun, you know, Yes, it's time out of your schedule, but it, you know, you're there with other people that want to learn the same thing. They're, you know, 
both of the groups that I was in, you know, during that time, they were great. They were great folks. They were very supportive. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know what else to tell you. So I didn't want to make this all about Toastmaster because I'm actually kind of running behind the time. Yesterday when I got the video done, I didn't even get it up in time. I'm still working on that. I just finished uploading it as I started the camera to roll and get today's recording. So I got to get this one uploaded and get that one posted as well as yesterday. So anyway, uh, that's kind of where I'm at, you know, for your hump day to get you up over that hump, consider Toastmasters. Again, it's called Toastmasters International. It was founded in, uh, I think it was 1920, 1925, somewhere around there. And it's just, it's a great group. I had a great time when I was in it. And like I said, I'm considering going back just so that uh, I can practice my public speaking some more and get better at doing this stuff <laughs> because it helps. It helps with sales, helps with public speaking, helps with communication in general, creating these videos, which I keep telling you, you need to be doing for your business. So if you're watching this and you're hesitant about making videos, or, you know, not sounding good or, you know, whatever the, you know, that fear and it's understandable, you know, because everyone has that fear. Everyone does. If they tell you they don't, they're full of, full of crap, but just remember practice doesn't breed perfection, but it does breed confidence. So the more you do it, the more confident you will become. Are your videos going to suck at first? Yes. You know, some, some people may say that my videos right now suck because there's not a whole lot to it. I'm just sitting here kind of talking and stuff. It's not very interactive. There's not a whole lot of that goes into these. The thing is, is I'm just trying to, um, get the ideas out there. Plus today I'll also have my five minutes with Charles video. I've been doing them, trying to do them on a weekly basis because a lot more goes into those. I actually plan those. I actually script those and I try and actually, you know, dress it up a little more, um, visually to make it visually and audibly, you know, compelling. So I cut out a lot of the ahs and the oohs and, ooh, eh, eh. but, and it's usually not as bad because like I said, those are scripted. So, you know, I kind of, read through the script. I have my bullet points of what I want to hit upon. And I try and like, you know, keep my mind clear and in the presence stuff I learned in Toastmasters. <laughs> so, Hey, anyway, uh, happy hump day. Um, see you again tomorrow. Right now I'm going to get these videos posted. So have yourself a great day. Love, peace and chicken grease.